Pick us up by 48 $40. 40 not just 40%. 40%, percent, 40% more than what they need. I would say more. I mean, no, no. Because remember, if every Man, ticket, ticket price was dropped by 40%, they could still make money and you could still fly across the world. A ticket to L.A. round trip was like 75 bucks. Hmm. I mean, the thing about that it business is, class? No, no, just a regular. <laughs> class. Now, if you want to do business class, it's different. Delta was like a hundred, but I'm talking about like front spirit and shit was like forty three, fifty three. Yeah, 100. yeah, but spirit and shit, they're gonna be the first ones to go. That's the thing about it. spirit frontier. I hope you niggas used to like them because I guarantee they they're not combine. coming out of this. They'll they're not, combine. No, they're not even gonna combine. They're they're out of here. They're not gonna go nowhere. I think they're gonna be gone. I think it's gonna end up going back to it being a. Uh, a monopolistic business before the government's going to make a fourth airline. Maybe they will make a fourth airline, but like, remember when Alaska Airlines, or it was one of those ones, one of those ones went out of business and everybody was like, no, they actually were pretty nice. I'm like, that's why they didn't survive because they were actually nice and everyone else is cutthroat. Mm. I mean, we've got to, we, as a capitalist nation, you want wolves, but you want wolves who understand that if they get out of line, you want wolves to you'll eat kill when them. they're hungry, not eat, eat because they can. Because they can, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So moving on down, you've already said enough about this topic, but I wanted to bring it up again. The China virus. Why are people being <laughs> dicks about this? R. Reed. What China virus? Calling it names instead of saying Wuhan flu or just saying COVID nineteen. I mean, I get it. People are going to look back at it later on, and they're going to be like, probably everything is going to be written in history to say COVID-19. because every- Where did this name come from? COVID-19 go- comes from the way that the virus is shaped and the fact that they believe there's like 19 parts to it or some bullshit. Okay. I mean, I think that's a nicer way. That's why I was willing to compromise on the Wuhan flu, since that's the first place that it really got big out of. Kong flu. But Kong, I think Kong flu and China virus are just, I can't do that to, to our Chinese Americans. I like, don't, I, don't care about them. because I know you tre- don't care about them. How they treat me. No, no, no. How the business owners treat you. Okay. Because I know plenty of actual you know, Chinese Americans. Me too. And they laughed at me when I said that. <laughs> I mean, who are these people who laughed at you? They the were, ones that were taking your money at the club? The Cause yeah, because they'll laugh quick. at you for anything as long as you're get, they're getting a check. No, 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 no. He's like, that shit. He laughed at it when Donald Trump did it. He's like, that shit's ignorant. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I mean, again, I'm not, I'm, not disagree- I'm not disagreeing with the funny, funny aspect. Funny. But I think that part of it is, is that we're... No, they're American. That they're I'm, not I'm willing to. I'm willing to... Well, they're not full Chinese anymore. They're American. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm willing to compromise on the Wuhan flu. I think that's enough because you still know where it came from because that's the main thing. People are like, well, they said the Spanish fire flu because it came from Spain. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm compromising on Wuhan. Because I don't think you should label all of it. And also, the thing about it is, nobody ever mentions the Hong Kong flu. Because that shit was 1968, I think. Man, I want to see them streaming numbers this month, though. Oh, man, the streaming numbers, like, that's that joke that you put on there. Where the guy was like, I'm Netflix, I'm coming in here. Who else got streaming numbers? And Country Roll's like, <laughs> them nerds, nigga. They be binge watching this shit. <laughs> nerds, nigga. Only like two million people pay for Crunchyroll, though. Yeah, but millions watch it for Correct. on those ads things, and that's how you make up the money. I, don't, I can't watch it with the ads. Well, the thing about it is, if you watch completed series, it's not that bad. Really? Yeah, if you watch completed, well, no, it's, you're still going to get like three ads per episode, but if you're just sitting around the house, the ads tell you, yep. nigga, go take a piss. Black Man, which we were going to review next time. Black Man, it's on Crackle for free. Yeah, exactly. But the Crackle, I think the every, every 10 minutes. That's a Are we talking about the old Black Man? Yeah, yeah, old Black Man. We was watching it because. Yeah, we I, I watched half of it already. Yeah, I, I watched a little less than half. Like somewhere between one third and one half. And I actually, yeah, like, again, some of the third. jokes don't stick. But at the same time, it is still enjoyable. I, I think that. Yeah. It, it would need to be updated they were going to do another one which was your argument to begin with way back when you first proposed it which is could we do another blank man I think some of the jokes in there like the whole pregnancy jokes like the one joke where they're just kind of like ah shithead they're going to have to probably update that because you know we can't just go around calling people shitheads people who write it's always sunny in Philadelphia to make I mean, if you got them to make it, it's going to be rated R and no one's going to be able to see it because it's going to get canceled before it even gets out the gate. It'd be hilarious. I mean, it would be. Actually, if you got the writers from uh, Everything Sunny in Philadelphia with the Wayne's crew, I think you could make a hilarious movie. They got a new show on uh, Apple, but I don't have Apple TV. Uh, Me neither. And uh, I never will. But uh, you guys think the vote's going to happen today? Nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to happen either. Um, so I'm going to just cut into straight into music. So I already know how you feel about Lil Uzi Vert. You don't care. Yeah. Was- but I thought Eternal Take was... Well, no not as the was first it. version was not worth. I heard the a couple songs wait. of it. I'm, I'm like, uh, he redid it. Yeah, some of them sound the same. I mean, well, no, no, a lot of them sound the same. But that's that's the problem is, it's like 15 these, songs or something like that. So the first part was 15 songs. Those were all the songs that he had to make up because the original album got leaked. Then a week later, he dropped the extended, which had the original albums like the one about Kobe, 
uh, balling like Kobe or some shit. Right. Not balling like a bitch, Lisa Leslie. But you had that. You had Myron, where he's basically talking about fucking your mama. I didn't listen to it. No, it was it was pretty good for Lil Uzi Vert. But again, when people were like, "Oh man, this is like the greatest album of all time," nigga, no, no. This is a good album for Lil Uzi Vert. It's great for his fan base, and he deserves his I don't streaming know about numbers. Great for Lil Uzi Vert. His Bird. first fan base. Uh, I think what was the one with Esso on it? What's the one where he got it going with nuts? Esso tour life on there. Going dumb. What's that song? Uh, is it Esso Life Tour? Oh no, no, no yeah, Esso <coughs> Life Tour. Yeah. You did you like part two? Yeah. Yeah, part two I think was done really well. I mean, my my favorite standouts from the from the deluxe would be Myron because Yes yeah. Sirsky was. So I said, uh, that's Love Is Rage. Yeah, yeah that's Love Is Love Rage. Rage too. Actually, um, I thought Yes Sirsky with Twenty One Savage was way better than I thought it was going to be. Nav probably had one of the better verses as far as entertainment wise of his career on Leaders. Uh, of course, Baby Pluto. Of course, Low Main. Uh, because that's the one where he mentioned the like X- that that's the one where he mentioned Exo Chain. Low Main. That's the one that sounds just like it, doesn't it? I don't really care. Yeah. Well, that's part two. Exact same part two is basically the same beat. Expanded flow. Someone actually flow. cut it up on YouTube, and they made it to where part one or uh, EXO Tour Life bleeds into part two, and it was beautiful. Um, he also did Silly Watch, is still my favorite song off the entire project. Yeah. And then most of the rest of the middle of it fall apart, and then you get towards the end. The last like four songs to end it out are pretty good. Did you listen to Ace Boogie? Uh, I did not listen to Ace Boogie. Instead, I listened to uh, uh, Gene Aiko. Yeah, I want to listen. To nah, that. the thing that people who are new to her is is that she makes fuck girl music. So right. it's basically like, oh my god, men are trash, but I want his dick. Yeah. And it's like, I Hot mean, girl, I can't be. Something. Well, no, no. She, the thing about it is, she doesn't make excuses for it. Like with Meg Thee Stallion, she always says, you know, hey, I'm a bad bitch, whatever. Jean's like, look, did we talk I about was, her album? No, we did talk about her yeah, album. Like a couple. No, no, we disagreed on that. I think that is good for her target audience. No, you are not her target audience. No, her album is garbage. No, objectively, sir. it's garbage. No, you're not liking the rapping. You're not liking the rhyme schemes, and the I'm okay with that. Were trash. Bro. I, again, uh, who is this again? Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, sugar, Ma- that shit's trash. Bro. Again. It's not. You're not the target audience. Bro, I, I know music, bro. That shit's no, no, trash. No, no, no. Because I'm going to get on your target audience and you're going to agree with me on your target beat, audience. All the beats were like... I, again, sir? Them YouTube-ass beats. Sir, sir, sir. <laughs> it, you're not the target YouTube audience. Ass beats. You're not the target audience. But going back to... Well, they're not banging it either. I'm going back you know. to uh, Gene. She makes fuck girl music. And I think it was really nice to hear somebody be like, you know what? You're a piece of shit and I hate you. And then like two songs later, be like, a bitch is horny and I need you to come down and do what it do. You know, because that's, that's the reality. What am I so That's the reality of the situation is, you might hate somebody, but you know, if the nigga throwing it down in the bedroom, you're probably going to call him at 2 a.m. Throughout the progression of the album, she shows growth, eventually gets with a nigga who doesn't treat her like shit. And uh, by the end of it, she comes to terms with the fact of she's a regular person and she's not perfect. That's what I want from album. Be realistic. She's and, not a regular person. She I mean, no, I know she's not a regular person, <laughs> but I'm saying like she comes to it like she's a person. She gets to have emotions. She basically made a album kind of like what Chris Brown was going for in his last one, except for his last one was way too long. It's like Chris Brown, you don't need 43 songs in a goddamn album. That's too goddamn much. All right, let's do it. Uh, so Lord the Lord. one that we're gonna definitely disagree on is Princess Nokia. Everything is beautiful versus everything sucks. I thought both projects were pretty damn good. I probably would not have gone for Gemini on my color show. I would have gone for Green Eggs and Ham or Blessings. Or um, the other song that I mentioned. But I don't know who her target audience is. Because she's really not New York niggas. She's really not L.A. Like the modern, like, weird Erica Badu crew people. I mean, she kind of is the modern Erica Badu. Because that's what Everything Sucks is. I like the fact that on Everything Sucks, like, she goes in, like, I'm a slut. I love doing slut shit. And then you get to a song where she's basically like, I was abused as a child, and that's why I'm a whore. And it's like, damn, that kind of sucks all the fun out of this. Because that's a legitimately sad song. you know, I don't care. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. Okay. No. Because I don't care what happened to you as a child. You're an adult. I, I mean, I, again, again <laughs> people are shaped by their experiences. I 100. I'm agree not with saying that. that they should not grow through them, but if someone is at least admitting that, you know, hey, I'm a whore because I was abused as a child, and that's how I learned to express myself, and I'm gonna hopefully get help. Then, I mean, again, I doubt she said she was gonna get help. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. So next is the uh, album J Electronica, a written testimony. That's the album that should have been better. I don't listen to him. I ain't it was. Him. It was trash. And the reason it was trash is not because his verse was trash. They were average. But then they got outshined by Jay-Z on every fucking song Jay-Z was on. Like, that's what everybody that's was not saying. a debut album if Jay-Z's carrying your bars. Well, it's Jay-Z. I mean, no, no, no. It was great to see Jay-Z. You we was didn't talk about Eminem album, did we? No, we did. We talked about music at Mary right. We enjoyed it. Um, no, but damn it, man, I don't know where we at. I know it's it's been a, it's been a long time. But Jay Electronica, I enjoyed the fact that Jay Z was on there. But it gets repetitive when I know you're better than this, nigga. You made Exhibit C. So imagine 
the song on Eminem album. I listened to it. Uh, what was it that? The Blueprint. Um, one of my favorite songs off the Blueprint Renegade? is Renegade. And mm. imagine Jay-Z the whole album full of Ed Renegades. Was awful. I mean, awesome. But Eminem verse was just it. It was it. Because I can remember that verse from the top of my dome. Correct. I'm a politician, but I kick it with him a minute. That's not how it starts. No. I know that. I just like that part. But yeah. And that's what happened to his album. It's not that it wasn't, he wasn't solid, at least. It's just that you got outshined, but that's. But you can't get outshined on every track. Let's be like if the entire. He did 15 Renegades on, was it 15? Exactly. No, 15 it's like 15 Renegades. Renegades, Renegades. Well, no, the opening one is count. 14 Renegades. Yeah, 14 Renegades. He like, did you well. can't get 14 even, Renegades. Even Jay Z did well on that song, but it's just Eminem just came in there. Got it, can't step in my pants, can't walk in my shoes. I went to the fork in the road and drove straight. Like, that line right there stuck with me, but I was just like, damn. I mean, I know he's better than that. That's really the issue. But last but not least, Royce the 5'9", The hey, Allegory, I think is a classic album. I saw on the radio talking to uh, that other nigga from Detroit because he tried to diss Eminem. And he was just like, calm down, nigga, blah, blah, blah. What's that other nigga? He's good. Uh, the other nigga from Detroit. Oh, uh, Big Sean? Big, big, no, the other guy. Ah, uh, damn, I can't remember. You know his name. Big Crit. Oh, Big from Crit? From Detroit. Yeah, Big, Big Crit, Crit decided. No, I thought he was from Alabama. Uh, uh, one of places. That's that, that other nigga, bro. He's good, but he was dissing Eminem. And, um, him and Royce, Royce was just like, it's not like he was just trying to get a track with him. He was telling him not to do it yet. It was just weird. And both, it was like, bro, if he ain't got nothing to do with well, Royce and Eminem are close. Yeah, yeah, that's somebody diss Armstead. You gonna be like, because somebody because right. Royce been around like around uh, D12, and he's still around. No one knows what the rest of D12 is. Mm-mm. Correct. Once died? I can't remember his name. That blue. Uh, uh, proof. It was. I thought it was Kanai who died. No, oh, Proof. Was it Proof? Yeah, it's Proof. And once he died, D12 was done. Well, yeah, once he died, once Proof died, it split the whole group, and Eminem didn't really know how to get it back together, which I understand. Like, Proof was that synergy. He was that person, and it just, it, it fucked up the whole thing. Man, if I ever have a bad day and you just want to hear something weird, listen to Bizarre's album. He had two, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, two albums? Yeah. Oh. Bizarre's albums are weird. Oh, I, I know weird. Bizarre. I just. Yeah, oh, they are, they are in their trash. But they're different. I like how creatively bad he is. Yeah, he is an expert at being very bad. Yeah. But I'm going to end this off with the, the Juice World single, Jack and Jill. I thought it was actually pretty good. The beat had to grow on me. But Did once the put, beat grew, grew on me, I like This next part is going to be relationship segment two, and I hope y'all are ready. All right, Arm said, the mother of your child who you're no longer with goes somewhere, and your son ends up lighting himself on fire doing a viral challenge. How do you handle this? Where's 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 my son? Your mother of your child left your son at home alone. How old is he? He is 11 years old. He's 11. He's 11. That's what these single mothers do, but nobody held them accountable for it. She needs to be held 100 percent accountable for that. Like, what the fuck? Exactly. You're a parent. <laughs> the hell are you First doing? First and foremost, how has your child got access to fire? And second of all, how have you not instilled in your child the thought that you know what lighting parts of myself on fire is not a smart idea because you probably more than likely are around him more than i am so i need you to get it together uh we already know how you would do Ari. you'd file a petition for your child so that you can take your child back i know you brace well not i mean she's going to jail so you yeah exactly she's going to jail so i mean if you don't want your child you ain't got no choice but to. i mean now the thing about it is the thing that they didn't mention is we don't know if the other child is his because are you a dick if you don't choose a child that's not yours no i mean you might split up the siblings but i'm sorry my nigga i participated in you you're my fuck trophy her i'm sorry your your daughter it is his sister i I mean your sister or sister or brother I, i would be like fuck them but you know i'm not gonna be all outward with it well yeah yeah you're not gonna say it like that you're just gonna say i can't get quality you know how the state is man you know how they how they do Nah, if i took the state i'll take them temporarily <laughs> temporarily mm-hmm. but i just would be like i don't want your little fuck trophy well where the dad at i don't i mean he probably a piece of shit because i mean obviously the fact that she can't train a child to be a child i mean i, I don't know kids it's, do dumb shit but kids do dumb shit but normally with black kids they don't do stupid shit Shit like that. Well, we participate in challenges, but we don't do no damn lighting your damn cell phone fire. Like, I mean, remember that one black kid? Damn, shame for him. The guy who accidentally killed that other kid doing them WWE F moves. That's funny. I mean, it was sad, though. <laughs> what did he? It was sad, man. It, it was, was sad. a It was a situation like that before where dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Poor, no, it wasn't a WWE thing. It was, he was in a tub. Oh. And he's set himself on fire and then slipped and fell in the tub and he was trying to put himself out, but he ended up getting all burnt out. Y'all remember that? I do not remember that. What was the outcome? Burns on 80% Oh, yeah, he definitely, got, he definitely got burnt up. Damn. That's so Burned up, won't crisp him out. Okay. All right, well, moving on then. Your ex-wife was granted custody of your children. While you send child support, she does not allow you to have custodial rights outside of supervised visits on birthdays and some breaks. Eventually, your children grow up and realize that you were mistreated. If your ex-wife 
now apologizes for how she treated you when she was bitter. Is that enough, R. Reed? No. Hold on, Reed. Start it over. Say what you did again. Your ex-wife was granted custody of your children. While you send child support, she does not allow you to have custodial rights outside of supervised visitations on birthdays and some breaks. Eventually, the children grow up and realize you were mistreated. If your ex-wife then apologized for how she treated you when she was bitter, is that enough, Ari? Hell no. Nah. I, I just, mean, that's I'll the tell thing the kids it. that we will, should y'all should cut her off as much as she cut me off. If they don't do it, that's on them, of course. But I'm, I'm not even mad at that answer because I mean, if the, if the kids realize that I was mistreated, then I think that you only need to tell your mama that you know what? Now that we're adults and we can see how you treated us, it's been great that you raised us, but you didn't raise us properly, and so we're going to seek punishment against you for that. And if somebody's mad about that, I mean, nigga, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. That's life. Sometimes it's not going to be right. And then everybody was like, you should let those grudges go. Well, I mean, it ain't that Let those grudges go. I just thought I'm forward of years with my children. I don't think women understand how much you feel like you, you know have. how much stuff I missed because of it's that not even from that. It's the power dynamic. Like, you just. Well, you, the same power dynamic that we have with money is the same power dynamic they have with kids. I don't know which one would you rather have. Well, no, it's not about which one you rather have. It's just that but they're as, much as, we, as much as as much as well, no, but they can't take all of it. They can't even take most of it, especially if you actually are. Oh, uh, ex-wife with kids can take most of it. Ex-wife with kids can take a lot. <laughs> but sir, the thing about it is, is that you're a man. You're meant to achieve. You're meant to overcome. And you will overcome because most you got no choice. Yeah, you don't have a when a nigga when a nigga's back against the wall, he can do some ex- extreme shit. You can ask Armstead. Armstead, your back was against the wall. You completely redid your entire body because you didn't have a choice, did you? Right. I always have a choice. I mean, yeah, I you had the, the choice right of choice. failure, but your mom ain't raised no bitch. That's right. No punk. No sissy man. What's that? <laughs> what makes someone a sissy? Not rising to the challenge. I think sucking dick makes you a sissy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, leave that nigga on Love is Blind alone. <laughs> he tried, damn it. Also, you watched that little. I, know, I still ain't watched the episode. I tried uh, watching it. I still ain't. I still ain't found it, but I did see him when he did that whole fake ignoring her falling asleep thing. I thought that was really childish. And then when people said that he was the man who sucked dick, I was like, You can see that, right? I can see it now. Yeah, yeah. At first, yeah, I always give niggas benefit of the doubt because some niggas are just lame. But, uh, yeah, the way that you were acting was definitely a little uh, heavier, a little more spirited. But third, Twitter lost their shit when they found that Barack Obama follows a porn star. Does it matter if a happily married man who is faithful to his wife Follows a porn star. I follow a bunch of porn stars. Yeah. But I'm not married. Yeah, that's but all. I, I, I just follow But I'm saying, like, if you're a happily married man, you never cheat on your wife, you never intend to cheat on your wife. If you say that Amir Dime is doing pornography and you like what you see, is it wrong for you to follow her? We could just pick an actual porn star and not that goddess. Um, <laughs> what if she becomes like a porn Pinky. star? I mean, Pinky need to get back oh in shape, God, but I don't need to hear She looks there. terrible now. I still fuck her. I bet you would. You would too. Not as a married man, of course. I mean, obviously. This is this is this is single single Riker. Yeah, single Riker mm, maybe. That suck dick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, she definitely does a lot of different things because that's just. I think her pussy's trash though. Yeah, I I, mm-hmm. I think she can suck. I mean, she always sucked a bean dick. The yeah, question is saying. is how she has aged. Because the problem that people also have is that everybody want to be like, oh man, this woman's the same. I hate to tell you this, my dude, but uh, everybody changes. Yeah, but she so, can suck it. Some people so change for the she better. She don't lose that skill. I mean, she, I'm not saying she's losing that skill. I'm saying that she may not be the I same. I ain't been watching her, so I don't know what she does. I don't worry. I mean, yeah. you know what, bro? I have not watched like traditional porn in a long time. Is it the whole. Don't she, don't she got a. Um, I don't know. I, didn't, I heard that, but I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I don't keep up on porn I don't stars. think I would ever have sex with a porn star in real life. There was a plenty. There was like two or three porn stars that came to Atlanta that were like, oh, my God, I'm I'm in Atlanta. And it was like, did you expect niggas to be signing up to go fuck you? You're a porn star. Oh, but I, I mean, you're a porn star. At random thought, you'll say maybe. But in real life, it's just like you. Well, it's one of those things. Where I did like, and didn't know it. I think I told you about it at one time. Yeah, yeah, but doing it and not knowing that she's a porn star is very different from in, a porn star and doing porn are different. Especially if it's just yeah, a porn yeah, yeah. star you're, that's you're actually right, doing yeah. it. Yeah, you're right. Porn star. And you're like, I can porn. see you on videos. But like, then again, I, yeah, she was a porn star. Remember, I told, did I tell you about the day she was on Ghetto Gaggers or some shit like that? Ghetto Gaggers? Yeah. Yeah, I probably would not have done that. I didn't know. You know, it would just. Oh, you, know, you found out afterwards. Yeah. Ghetto yeah. Gaggers is demeaning. Yeah, yeah exactly. very like, demeaning. That's the part about it is I don't care if you suck dick, but the fact that you let white people basically rape you. As entertainment. When I saw that, I was like, Ugh, I, like I, I couldn't even. I mean, the thing about it is, like, <laughs> I can't ever respect you again. Oh my God, 
Riker saying something so insane. No, I can't respect the fact that you would let white people demean you for a check. And not even a very large check, a regular check. This is like letting a conservative come up and kick you in the nuts because they said they pay you $5,000. Like, the fact that you let some white person do that to you because of whatever. I don't care if they were so nice during whatever and they only turned that character on during the time. I'm just always going to think in the back of my mind that you'll suck out to the white man anytime that it so pleases for you. But let me get into the fourth story. So, is this person the asshole? This one, it's a little long, but you'll, you'll see. Okay. Okay, if it's long, I'm probably going to not pay attention and then come back at the end, okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. No, no, you might, you might like the story. All right, so this guy and his wife, they married young at 23. They're both 23. Now they're 27. Oh. His wife's about to graduate from law school. The issue is she has a ton of student loan debt, about $200,000. That's from both undergraduate and law school. However, over the past year, as she's just about to finish up her degree, she started changing her mind about becoming a lawyer. She says she now wants to teach and do Teach for America after graduating. And she told him this in the last week. They talked at length about this, and she says she wants to do it because her new dream is law. It's no longer anything else. Her husband is upset because if she teaches, her starting salary will barely be $35,000 in the first few years. And they live in a really, really expensive city, San Francisco. Um, she has no intention of going back into law uh, later. And she says that law school is a mistake. They talked about it. And she says that she wants to have kids in a few years and how she'd like to be a stay at home mom as well. He looked at her and asked her how she thinks he's going to be able to afford to pay for that when they have almost $200,000 in debt on just his income. She got mad and basically got in her feelings and said that he's not supporting her. Is he the asshole? No, he's not supporting her. And no, he's not an asshole. He's just telling her the truth. Correct. It'd be different if she said, you know what? I hate law, but I'm going to make just enough money to pay off all my debt and then I'm going to become a teacher. You know what? That's understandable. But you're not the asshole she for telling her law. that <laughs> exactly she can become a law professor like you can teach kids but the fact that you would settle us down because remember they're married so her debt is his debt the fact that you would get two hundred thousand dollars worth of debt and just say you know what i've changed my mind and i'm gonna now burden this family for the next amount of time because unlike most forms of debt student loans are only admissible in certain situations like that nigga think, in new york i don't think they get rid of student loans. no period. the guy in new york was able to because he was able to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that there's no way that him on his one income will ever be able to pay off this loan no matter how things go for him but that guy was also I like in his 40s and it's just like niggas got 20 more years to work how's he gonna pay off this this student loan because that guy like he he owed i think something like two hundred thousand dollars when he started and now he owed like one hundred fifty thousand because of interest and it's like yeah there's no way this nigga gonna pay this off in 20 something years even if he works till he's 70 something he's still not gonna pay that shit off so that guy was able to get it on a technicality anyone is listening definitely you should look up his case but um this this is she's selfish she selfish she's a woman i mean that, that has nothing to you do know they say men are selfish but women are very so mm. she don't have, you don't have children that she wants to have children i wouldn't have children with her i would get a vasectomy the next day she came up with this bullshit because i am not getting in a position where i'm gonna be fucked because you decided that you're gonna change your life goals it'd be different if she said that she had a plan for tackling the debt but her plan is we'll just live off your salary and that's not a plan that is called a failure i hope this nigga gets a divorce from her because she's unloyal not faithful and a terrible person for what she do to him. But last but never least, a husband told his wife that he's going to be sent off to war and he's been reassigned. In actuality, he went to go move in with his new woman and her family through listening to an Uber driver who happened to take his old wife to somewhere else. This woman, the Uber driver, was uh, talking about this guy who had a very strange name that only her husband had. She eventually, basically through talking to the woman, arranged to go to the grocery store with her and pick up some groceries and acted like she was lost and lived in the same neighborhood. The woman ends up taking her there. She ends up seeing her husband, playing with her, playing with this new woman's kids. And she visually confirms it and then leaves and then files for divorce. He comes home, starts making up all these excuses about how, you know, the baby is not what you saw, yada, 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 yada. On a scale of one to 10, how fucked up is this from her perspective? She's really fucked up, man. That man went to war in the woman's pussy, but he went to <laughs> war for her. And uh, she should really forgive that man because what you got to realize is that the nigga was going through a war, but it was an internal war, the war of love, which all men go through at some time. And for her not to forgive him, it's one of the worst things that you can do as a woman. Now, nigga, you ain't shit. But <laughs> she and him were going through some things. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, they're going through some things, but the fact is that one thing that I forgot to mention is that they also have children together. And she stopped sending back the money. Well, he had. Were those his children on the other side, too, or no? 
No. That nigga simping too. Oh. Yeah, that's the problem. Is. <laughs> nah, There's not several here. things wrong here. One, Early. those not his. It be. I didn't say he went to his other family. He just adopted that family. Oh, he he got, just he just had a, he just had to build a family. He got symptoms. Yeah, he got a, he got <laughs> symptoms. All right. Wow. I can't forget them symptoms. I can't forget them symptoms, symptoms either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Ar- what do you think? Arms dead. I don't know. It, it, I mean, it how long? Is it? I, I said, I said I'm one to ten. I, I, how I'm sorry. Okay, Armstead. Basically, guy says that he's going off to war. He's a soldier. Actually went off to meet a new uh, woman and moving with her family. Wife caught him. Basically, wife caught him. And wife visually caught him or caught him? him. Caught oh, him. Visually thing. confirmed that she caught him in his bullshit. She basically sends the papers to get him uh, divorced. He comes home, baby, like, I'm sorry. At the same time, he hadn't been sending home money to her, so she'd been having to make it the hard way. And uh, we're asking from her perspective, how fucked up is it? From her perspective, to to leave him for him to do what he did to her. Oh yeah, that's pretty fucked up. I mean, I'm I'm saying this, but is, the nigga was this going is about through a something. Nine. I, I get I get the fact that the nigga was going through an internal war, but yeah. if you're going through an internal, does she have war, my child too? Mm-hmm. She she yeah. Oh yeah, well, he all the way fucked up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like no no no, it'd be different if those were his kids with the other women. Seven out of ten. <laughs> nine point seven. Out How old is my child? It don't matter. I mean, it don't matter how many chil- yeah, children. It do, you have man. My child is my child it is twenty one. You know, what I mean. No, because the problem children. here is that the problem is here is that this man made a promise for God. Well, nigga. I mean, this nigga made a promise for God because they're married. They're married. They're married. Was, it's different. It's different if if they're a boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm not holding no other. If it was nigga boyfriend and girlfriend, I'd say it's about a five or six. Oh, if it's boyfriend and girlfriend, nigga, it's zero. Yeah. I mean, if I'm married, yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's about like, nine. It's like when your homies cheat on their girls. Even if you like the girl, it's none of your damn business, and you don't probably won't say anything. Well, again, you don't say anything because, as we talked about a couple podcasts ago, well, it was a long amount of podcasts ago. You don't want to get caught in the middle of that fire because even if you tell her the truth, she may not want to accept it, and then that's going to create a rift. So you stay out of it just because yeah, just like, there's more bad. Do you than know good. anything he wouldn't want to tell me? Like you should probably go ask him. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's a that's a leading question. So you first hit it with, look, if you have any reason to suspect him of infidelity, you need to take that up with your man because I am not getting in the middle of anything that y'all are doing because that never turns out. Because once y'all break up and he say I can hit it, we good. Because <laughs> I ain't doing nothing hateful like or hating like. Not that I would hit it, but the but you the person there. who wouldn't. You just want the option, the implication. I, I wouldn't do it. Well, I know, for but you want the implication for the most. Part. I mean, if his if his if his ex was a mere dime, you probably would. Well, that's different. That's that's a mere dime. I mean, it is a mere dime. Yeah, that's not even fair. But uh, as we said, rapid fire podcast. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna close out unless either of you have a topic. Oh, so what if you would like? All right, so you had a girlfriend at the time, correct? And then like you was messing with this married chick, and y'all knew what it was, just like sex or whatever, right? Okay, because you're cheating, right? I mean, yeah, she's cheating, and you're cheating. All right, but she's really cheating. You just have to I go mean, over it. it's more fucked up that she's doing it. Yeah, but yeah, it's still fucked up that you're doing it if you knew she's married. She calls you as soon as she get a divorce, and you're single. Would you fuck with her? I mean, I mean, like, am I might dating her? Good. Was or are you talking about just fucking around with her? I mean, how, what, I'm asking you, how would you? No, no, no. He's saying, how would you approach? I mean, I might oh. test the goods if they're still good. I might sample a little longer, but I'm not going to do anything. I gotta take her seriously. I'm right? not. I'm, again, I'm not going to turn this into a full course meal. Yeah, this is sampling. Yeah, she was cheating on her husband. That, yeah. Exactly. This, that's that's like, fucked up. Oh, she was cheating? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah she was cheating on her husband. No, no. Again, this is like Costco. You know, you go around and you taste everything, but I don't mean I'm going to buy it. Yeah, I, I couldn't take 100% serious because then I feel like she, you know, hey, you do the same shit to me. Well, it's not even that you know. You actually know she would do the same yeah, thing Yeah, because technically, while you're dead egg on her, she's already cheating on you with her husband. Exactly. They still might be doing, going to Kelvin's counseling and then be feeling some kind of way. And the next thing you know, they fucking in the back of his car. Because, you know, she got the good car. Um, and that is what it is. But at the same time, I mean, my nigga, if you just fucking, you don't care. Or you shouldn't care. Because there's some niggas I who think you care. should care because she might. Yeah. Definitely should. Be out, though. But, yeah, that was good. That was just interesting. Something that happened to someone I know recently. Yeah. I got one. I feel, I feel for Go that ahead. person. Go ahead, Armstead. Let's say you've been, uh, let me see. Let me put this together. Uh, let's say you've been, uh, you've been dating a girl for a while, right? Like dating, dating, or like we come over, like, we fire stick and dick. No, and like you you're go like home. y'all actually probably been dating, you know, been together, okay. and um, she has she you no know, she she has kids, and uh, I'm already now, I, I ain't gonna, gonna say she go. got like I mean you you've already been dating her, so I mean so she has let's say two kids right, and 
That's that's over her kids, Ari's number. Her kids don't stay with her. I don't think you should have more kids than me. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> but, yeah, go but ahead. anyway, let's just say her kids don't stay with her at, at, that, at that time. Right? I don't care. Now why. eventually now eventually down the line, as y'all together, you know, because y'all had y'all times together, she come over to your house, you go to her house, you mm-hmm. stay over there, whatever, stuff like that. And then now let's say we, her kids are now back there. You know Oh, so now they live with her. Now they live with her, you know. If they fucking in with your fucking time? I mean, of course they would. Yeah, of course I mean, they would. Yeah, yeah, of course they would. I mean, yeah. they're going to need attention. They probably don't know algebra because, I mean, they keep getting bounced from parent to parent. So, <laughs> yeah. They probably don't have the same friends, same school, nothing. Like, in that situation, like. You're fucked up. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, how, 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 would, how, would, how would you really react okay. with that All right, situation? So, if it's, if it's a mere dying bad, <laughs> badness, then we're going to work something out. <laughs> if she's regular. Plain Jane, we not gonna work something out. If she's somewhere in the middle, we might. Depends work on how much out. you actually like the girl. If you see a future with her, then you already have accepted her kids to some degree. Now the fact that they're actually there will change the dynamic, but that's typically on you. But I'm someone not like, typically on you. That's completely on you. Because oh, again, you're the man. You make the decision. Yeah, because I think I posted in the group. We should go over that one too. By the way, which one? What? Well, go ahead. We'll, no, we'll, we'll bring it up next. But yeah, from that standpoint, that just depends on how you feel. Like. If I mean, you, I technically wanted to you've do already the, accepted the kids. Exactly. I wanted to do the extra there. stuff so that you would come with a more reasonable answer. Yeah. And you did. Which is, it really depends on how much you like her. Like, if you if you like her enough, you can make almost anything work. But I think she got to give you a kid within the next three years or you got to bounce. <laughs> yeah. You got to have one that can secede your throne. Because you're never going to love her kids the way that she loves them. And we talked about that before. And they never going to fucking love you like they love their dad. Exactly. Even yeah, their dad is a deadbeat drug du- drug user. They're, they're still going to love him because that's the nigga that brought them into the world. Without that nigga, it wouldn't be them. And every kid knows that on some level. Now, if your, kid, if your dad was somebody who was like really horrible, then that's different. But more than likely, he's probably going to be somewhere in the middle. Not going to be a drug dealer. Not going to be super dad. He's going to be just... Most niggas nigga. are somewhere in the middle. It's just a matter of what wisdom you pass Well, it's just a matter of if you get involved I don't know. in your kid's life. I don't know if anybody's... I guess the black thing, nigga, is are you there? <laughs> is it, is it, the thing about it is, as Shadis Gambino said, nigga, you could be a, a father if you just really try. Like, it's not anything big you got to do. You just got to be there. Like, just go to some games. Stay active in your kid's thing. Ask him about stuff. Teach him some lessons and tell him to buy property. Like, it's very basic things you got to do to really be, like, a great dad. Like, it's not something super where you got to go to every parent-teacher conference. Because more than likely, nigga, you're going to be working. And, um... More than likely, she's going to have a career where she can, you know, take some whatever. Because if you're making the money, then, you know, she can get out of her job a little bit earlier. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Plenty of unplayed leave out in these uh, fields, which sucks. But that's <laughs> Just stay dad and stay present. Like, you just. Exactly. Stay, the, stay dad and stay present. And Especially if, if yeah. you actually love her, then love conquers all. Like, that's, that's a simple, simple phrase. Kind of biblical. Kind of not, not true, biblical. Though. No, no, love can conquer love, everything. Love, love is not enough to keep people together. No, right? no, love is enough if you actually love the person. Like, you can that's have not a true, situation. Man, because sometimes, no, that's not true, That is not true, bro. There's some situations where you can love a person so much, but them motherfuckers is like beating your ass type no, shit. No, 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 so, but that's not love. Well, that so is, if, hey, wait a you, minute. If they really love you and you really love them, then you can get over a mistake. That's not a mistake. If somebody beating your ass. Continuously, yeah. yeah. I believe, like when people talk about abuse, I think the first time is a mistake and it's possible. But yeah. the second, third time, fourth time, and shit like that, like. But I'm talking about the people who I'm not saying like. I mean, that person you, don't love her. He's he's trying to control her. Yeah, that, no, I'm not talking that's about that person. Love. I'm talking about the female who says that you know they're well, in love with this person. They keep yeah, beating no their one, ass. No one. Well, cares. no, 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 no. If there's a woman who's saying that, as uh, a woman told me not too long ago, you can tell a woman many things, but you're never gonna be able to tell her to leave until she's ready. True. When a woman is ready to leave an abusive relationship, she will. Until then, you can tell her the truth once, and then you leave. I ain't gonna say her name because she's my sister. I had the nerve to say, you know, physical abuse and verbal abuse are the same thing. Look, I don't agree with your sister on that. That is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. When Ari, people Ari, words, words, and physical uh, things Ari, are very, Ari, very Ari, different. We're not disagreeing here. But I can't, if I gave you the whole conversation, I don't care how bad the conversation is because I already know it's gonna sound really bad. Like when you say kung flu, but at the Chinese same time, virus. that's still your sister. You don't have a sister, do you? Sir. They're fucking annoying. I, nigga, <laughs> everyone's fucking annoying. I don't Especially have a people I think who brothers, don't have this. Dicks. I didn't, his words, not mine. <laughs> Were you pointing at dicks? I, I was know. pointing at I back of my head. You know, black I'm like, hold on. You're talking about your dick, aren't you? I'm talking about, I'm talking about people who aren't, you know, this oh, color. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but actually, you know. Yeah, but everybody can be very annoying. But you just, there's certain things you don't I say. I feel like when I talk to her sometimes. Well, no, no, I think I think you're right in the sense that she is being absolutely fucking ridiculous, bird mind type shit by saying that. 
at the same time that your sister, nigga. Give her some respect Fuck and be like that. I'm a realist. I'm not really the type of person. It's not realistic. Just, it's just showing her that you know what? Because we have the same parents, I'm gonna tell you. I like, didn't tell the motherfuckers to have her, nigga. She didn't, <laughs> from her I didn't tell the from her motherfuckers perspective, to have they her. didn't have. The, her, she didn't tell her parents to have you. I was first. Anyway. Oh, this is your baby a little sister. sister. Yeah, the oh. one who came to the podcast before. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. She need to come back. She's this awesome. dummy tried to argue with me to my <laughs> physical dummy. abuse. I mean, no, and, no, no, no. She is a dummy. Again, you're not wrong on that. That I mean, for this situation, the bitch is dumb, okay? This, and, your and sister is dumb. If I call women bitches, I should be able to call my sister one, too. That's just not No, you right. shouldn't call any I, of them bitches. I, I, I'm saying I got to be fair. No, don't call your sister anything. Although, I do respect the fact that you keep it consistent. <laughs> <laughs> I but what, I'm say, what I'm saying is, uh, what I'm saying is, above all things, don't call your Because I hate when women use that thing to you. They were like, would you talk like that to your sister? I mean, the thing yeah, about I is, call that bitch a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what about your mom? Man, you, you, you talk about my fucking mama. I mean, <laughs> everybody's, got, everybody's got a line. My mama gave me if you life. Hate, you if you hate black nothing. women, write it down and tell it to your mama. Hell but no, I don't, I'm not going <laughs> to. <do that. laughs> he gave me that. But my mama like that. My mom ain't never give me no strife. Okay. No struggle, well, no none did. of that. My mom's annoying, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, but again, you said your mom's she, annoying. You didn't say anything yeah, she's else. Annoying. She's just petty. I just. I mean, I the get. thing about it is, petty women are petty. Yeah, and it can be fun sometimes, but other times it can I mean, be like you're really just being care. ridiculous. That's ridiculous. just who she is. You know, know what I'm saying? Real nice though. I mean, she's not again be petty from the to outside you. in. Oh, yeah. she's petty to you. Yeah, to me. We're not even petty. It may not even be petty. Well, you're saying petty to me. I'm the only boy, so I think they got different. But you know what? Though I feel though, because my mom was real petty to me too. So I get you. Yeah, it's just like that little stuff. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, it doesn't bother me because but I don't at live the with same them time, like I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't live with them; it don't matter. But when you Correct. live with them, it's just like I realize how petty you are. Well, it's just, it's just that I think part of it is well, that I no matter what happens, women who live with you or live near you or live in some area are always going to feel some kind of way about certain things, and they want to remember that they still have some level of how control did, over I, you. So I'll be wondering, like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's a control. Because I'll be wondering, like, how, like, you ever meet somebody's wife and be like, how are you married to her? Well, probably because a lot of people can look past a lot of things, provided other things are going well. Yeah, 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 that's the truth. But that's anyway, true. thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to this episode of Everyday Black Men Podcast. This has been great. And again, rapid fire. Let us know if this rapid format fire. works. Coronavirus out there, y'all. Be careful. Stay home. Don't be scared, nigga. Don't Real be niggas. Be oh, let's scared rap. of the Wuhan. Flu. China flu, what you gonna do with the China flu? China flu, what I gonna do with that China flu? China flu, what I gonna do with that China flu? I'm just gonna fade this out. <laughs>